Gilmore Girls is a show loved by millions, including myself, and with the revival of the show just coming out on Netflix last month, it's enough to make any fan lose it with excitement. So let's take a trip to Stars Hollow, sit back, relax, and watch these 50 facts you didn't know about Gilmore Girls. 1. Lauren Graham and Alexis Bledel actually ate the food on the show. Their characters were known for their bad eating habits, but unlike many health-conscious actors, Graham and Bledel weren't afraid to indulge. It really bothers me when actors don't eat the food that's in the scene, Bledel said. 2. Liza Wheel originally tried out for Rory and was denied the part, but the producers were so taken with Wheel that they wrote Paris Geller for her instead. 3. Alexis Pladell was 15 at the start of the series, and Kikyo Ajina, who plays her best friend Lane Kim, was actually 27 years old at the start of the series. 4. Amy Sherman Palladino didn't have a pilot written before the show got picked up. 5. The town was inspired by a real town called Washington in Connecticut. She recalls, We went to a diner and someone got up and they walked behind the counter and they got their own coffee because the waitress was busy. It seemed like such a friendly place where everyone knew each other. 6. Lauren Graham and Alexis Bledel didn't meet until their first scene together. Because Bledel was cast six months before the show got picked up, Graham says the two never got the chance to do a chemistry read. Instead, they met their first day on set. 7. Some of the cast members got to keep props from the show. I took a Prada coat that they're probably still missing in inventory, Graham admitted. She says that she was also given Lorelai's three monkey lamp because they apparently knew she'd want it. Sadly, she didn't and it's sitting in her garage. 8. When asked about the similarities between himself and his character Luke, Patterson revealed that he based Luke off of his own father. That portrayal, he says, allowed him to rekindle his real-life relationship with his father before his passing. 9. Kikyo Ajina is Japanese, not Korean. Emily Kuroda, who plays her mother, Mrs. Kim, is also Japanese and not Korean. Like Ajina, her first language is English, and Kuroda doesn't speak with the thick accent that you see on TV. 10. Alexis Bledel, who is half Argentinian, did not start speaking English until she entered elementary school. Her first language is Spanish. 11. Alright, this fact totally blew my mind, but Alexis Bledel actually hates coffee. She had to have all of her coffee cups filled with coke throughout the run of the show. 12. Michelle's sexuality is left ambiguous throughout the show. In early seasons, different scenes suggest that he's straight, but the more the show goes on, the more it alludes to the opposite. He's also the only character of the show's core group to never get his own romantic storyline. 13. The show features a number of interesting continuity errors and changes in terms of character and plot. Early in the first season, Rory turned 16, but she was introduced as being 16 in the pilot. Maybe they were rounding up? Also, Kirk's original name in the show is Mick, which changes when his character is given a larger role on the show. 14. Sherilyn Fenn got the part of April's mother because she was originally going to be featured as Jess's stepmother in his spin-off, Windward Circle. However, that show was cancelled before it ever went to air. You can still find clips of the pilot floating around online, though. 15. Show creator Amy Sherman Palladino had to fight to get Melissa McCarthy to play Sicky. It wasn't that people didn't like her, but she was a different energy, she said. There was no body type, there was nothing specific about it. I just liked her because she was funny and can really act. 16. The only time Lorelai's birthday is celebrated is in season 3, when Rory has a giant pizza made. According to the Gilmore Girls Companion, the pizza was actually foam covered in real pizza sauce and toppings. 17. Chris Pine auditioned to play Rory's dad, Christopher, in his very first audition ever. He didn't get the part, but that kind of snowballed a lot of stuff in my life, he said. 18. Lane's band name, Hep Alien, is an anagram of Gilmore Girls producer Helen Pye, Amy Sherman Palladino's real-life childhood friend who inspired the character of Lane. 19. Amy Sherman Palladino has never seen the seventh and final season. After she and her husband Daniel couldn't reach an agreement with the show's new home, The CW, they withdrew from their roles as showrunners and writers. Amy eventually heard about season seven and said she wanted things to go different for Rory. 20. One of the show's hallmarks was fast talking. The production had to completely adjust to accommodate this style of dialogue. Normally, one page of a screenplay accounts for about one minute of screen time, but for Gilmore Girl scripts, one page was about 20 to 25 seconds of screen time. 21. The cast didn't always understand the pop culture references, but they went with it anyways. Bledel told Entertainment Weekly that we'd have to look them up on our own typically. There were no explanations written in the script. 
22, in the first season finale, Lorelai received a thousand yellow daisies as part of a marriage proposal, but the shot required many more flowers than that. A thousand yellow daisies actually sounds like a lot, Amy said, but when you put a thousand yellow daisies in a big room, like our set, it's kind of like a table arrangement. Three or four times, we had to send people back to get yellow daisies. I think we wiped out yellow daisies on the west coast. 23. Brad Langford disappeared towards the end of season 2 through much of season 3. His character explained his absence by saying that he had been starring in Into the Woods on Broadway. In real life, Adam Wiley, who played Brad, actually had been starring in that show during that time. 24. Amy Sherman Palladino actually wrote Jess onto the show so that Lorelai and Luke had yet another reason to not date yet. 25. Another unexpected star on Gilmore Girls was Sebastian Bach of Skid Row. He played Lane's bandmate, Gil. He said, when I got the call, I was like, do you guys have the right phone number? I thought you needed a rock star. 26. Graham was given a producer role in the final season. According to Scott Patterson, who played Luke, there was a very different vibe on set after Sherman Palladino left. 27. Graham requested that changes be made to the series finale script. She thought that the episode was too light. Rosenthal listened to her and found a way to give more characters a moment to shine. 28. After it was clear that the show wasn't going to continue beyond season 7, a spin-off about Rory was considered. Graham had officially told the producers that she would not be returning, but discussed the possibility of producing a show about Rory. Eventually, they deemed the whole thing too complicated. 29. Sherman Palladino had four words planned for the final words of the show. Now that we know what those four words were, Mom? What? I'm pregnant. Most people feel that it was either a total shock or kind of an eh moment. At least after all these years, we finally know. 30. Alex Borstein was originally cast to Suki. She had to turn the role down due to her work on Mad TV. She ended up making a few appearances as the Harpist Drella, though. Thanks for watching the video, subscribe if you liked it, and I will see you guys next time.